Let's work through uh, a very simple problem. Okay. We've got, let's read the question. We've got Betty, and her goal is to become a millionaire in 10 years. And what she wants to know is how much she needs to invest at the end of each month uh, in an account with an APR of 8% compounded monthly. So let's write out our givens. All right, we know Betty wants to have a future value of at least $1 million. So let's find the minimum amount of money that Betty has to invest. Uh, we know that she's going to invest every month, okay? And she, we also know that the, in, the number of periods here is 10 years, which is equal to 120 months. Uh, and she has an interest rate of 8%. And that is compounded monthly, so 8 over 12 is the value that we need to use here. And what we need to find is simply the regular series of payments every month, A. All right, let's draw the cash flow diagram here for her. Remember, we have a long series, so we're going to have that continuous break there. Uh, so 0, this is time 1, time 2. Uh, remember, 119 months, and then finally at 120 months, she wants to have some future value of one million dollars, and in each one of these months, she's going to make a regular series of investments, including the last month. Right? What she wants to know is. What is A? And our point of view here is Betty, and she is the investor. All right? Now let's just, we're going to use the formula on this one, remember, because we, we can't use the factor table because we have 8 twelfths of a percent. Uh, 8 twelfths of a percent is not available on our uh, factor tables, so we're going to use the formula. And the formula is A is equal to F times all right let's pick up here I had to pause for a second we have uh, we need to find a we're given F and remember our formula here is going to be I over we have a formula I over 1 plus I to the n minus 1 in this problem uh, we're using 1 million dollars is what Betty wants to have. Our I is 0 0.08 over 12 over 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12 to the N, and our N is 120. We subtract 1. Okay, And if we solve for this, A is equal to $5,466 and nine cents. So we're telling Betty, you better invest $5,460 and nine cents every month if you want to have a million dollars in 10 years.